What's up my Century Unit, it's the Centerman here, so this is my predictions for WWE Hell in a Cell 2022. It's this Sunday, um, we've got six matches on the show, it's at the All State Arena in Chicago, Illinois. Six matches, similar as Wrestlemania Backlash, that show also had six matches on the show. Um, so far, no kickoff show match yet to be confirmed. I hope they get rid of kickoff show matches, you know, it don't mean shit. Like, not just in WWE, but in uh, AEW, no disrespect, but doing the buy-ins, you know, I get it. They're trying to warm up the crowd, you know, it's a bonus match. You know, it's, it's before the uh, the actual show went on the air, I get it, but it don't do anything, you know, I get it, you know. I say, you know, like, basically take that match and put it on an episode of Dark, in my opinion. Just go back to doing Dark matches, you know. Fill a match before the actual show kicks off and then just put it and take the, um, Dark. I don't know, Dark is a tape show. Yeah, it's on YouTube, but, um, I don't see they're going to do Dark anytime soon. Not Dark, um, I don't see they're going to do Dark matches anytime soon in wherever company, you know. I don't mind analyzing, you know, the matches. But, like, an analyze, why just call it the, why just they just call it the analyze show, instead of a kickoff show? Like, you know, you, like, just, just do, just analyzing the match, you know, break down the matches on the card, instead of, like, doing a meaningless match for no reason. So, anyway, so, we've got six matches on the show. I think we've got a handicap match, a, um, a six-person tag team match, um, two championship matches, um, a triple, yeah, one is a triple threat match and a Hell in a Cell match. So, yeah, one Hell in a Cell match. Um, we'll get to, you know, that match later on in this, um, predictions video. So, um, we'll get to the, pro the really the main profile matches in the second half of this prediction video. So, the, the first match to predict in this prediction video, um, this is for the United States Championship. Theory, formerly known as Austin Theory. Defending the belt against Mustafa Ali. Filler. I'm going to go with Theory. Um, retaining the title. Um, I, don't know, I don't know why people like uh, Austin Theory or don't like Austin Theory. I don't know. It's kind of like, meh. He's okay. He's got charisma. You know, I, since, I, since, I think people find, find them very annoying. You know, I like the stuff with the wave. That's uh, Johnny Gagano's group. But um, anyway, yeah, he's hampered by... Vince McMahon, so far he's the United States Champion. That US title declined. It's, it's pretty sad. It used to be a good mid-card belt. I said that, like, in the past, that championships in main roster WWE don't mean shit. And, uh, before we get to my prediction of the, uh, yeah, Theory Alley match, um, for the second straight pay-per-view in the role, um, Roman is not going to defend the WWE and universal title and also also speaking of yeah and also speaking of um not defending the t the belt is you know the, i'm not going to go into the whole sasha and naomi um thing i don't want to get into it uh the usos are not going to defend the raw and smackdown tag team titles you know that's the second sh i don't think it's been a long time you know since i review and watch uh wrestlemania you know i think he I th yeah they did yeah yeah, the last uh, match they, you know, on pay-per-view they defend was against uh, Nakamura and Rick Books. You know, they, yeah, they unify the, t the, the titles belts against RK Bro on an episode of SmackDown. That's not defended on the line, so why the world titles not on the line beats me. I don't want to get into it. So, yeah, let's get back to the, um, my predictions for the, um, Theory Alley match for the United States title. I'm going to go with Theory holding the belt. Um, Alley, he's a last course. At, at this moment in time, a last cause. Yeah, they get like yeah, they kind of like put him in that group, the re retribution group. Unfortunately, he's not really doing well, and he's just a job. I mean, he, I don't know, man. I think he's just like, yeah, the whole situ yeah, the whole rumors like they're gonna put the day that you tell about on Mustafa Ali in 2019 against Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 35. Nope. So yeah, I go theory holding the belt. Uh, much longer, so until who's a worthy challenger for Austin Theory, who knows? So, the next match this is a handicap match. Uh, Bobby Lashley taking on MVP and Omos. 
uh, why they continue this rivalry beats me. Um, this has got to be a rubber match. You know, I'm going to go with Lashley winning the war against Omos and MVP. Moving on. So the next match, um, we got Kevin Owens taking on Ezekiel. Uh, Ezekiel, sorry. Ezekiel is not Ezekiel Jackson. He's just Ezekiel. He's basically the kayfabe brother to Elias. You know, um, I'm going to, I don't know, this whole Ezekiel bullshit is stupid. The way they ruin Elias, man, it's just like, he's he's dead in the water at this moment in time, Elias, you know. Yeah, they're trying to push him as Elias Sampson, Elias, you know, I think he was. I don't know he was the Intercontinental Champion. I don't think he won a title so far in the day that he, yeah, that was very forgettable. And then, as Ezekiel, you know, yeah, he's got, like, some buzz, you know, but that, it's going to be a short-term, like, it's basically a 15 minutes of fame for Ezekiel before he's going to get ruined again. 50-50 booking or some shit. I don't see Kevin Owens, like, winning the... F I don't see Ezekiel... J um, not Ezekiel. I don't see Kevin Owens winning this match against Ezekiel. You know, um, it's just like... Kevin Owens, at, some, at this moment in time, he's done. I get it. He's put, he put over Stone Cold Steve Austin at Re WrestleMania 38 Night 1. I get it, you know. He needs... He was, he's a bit of a dumbass signing a new deal. You should have, like, or, you know, just ask for your, just leave the company, wait until the contract expire, and go wherever you want to go. AEW will probably go, get lost in the shovel. I don't know. Maybe Impact Wrestling. I don't know. NWA, don't know. It'll be Kevin Steen. Don't get me wrong, but um, I don't know, but I think he's a bit of a dumbass, you know, signing a new deal that he's not going to get, like, a renewed push. He's going to be, like, doing favors instead of, like, elevating his stock, getting rebuilt again, you know? What's the last time um, Kevin Owens won a major title in the WWE? I think it was um, in the main roster, I think. Well, the Universal, t uh, not Universal, the United States title, what, 2017? Um, I think he was, the last time he won the world title, you can count, you can really call, call it the Universal title as a world championship. Um, that was, like, 2016, 2017. He haven't really won a singles belt for almost, what, one year? One year! And actually, not one year. Four years. Uh, actually, five years, actually. Five years without winning, you know, becoming a world or mid-card champion. It's a bit criminal, so. So, I have to go with Ezekiel getting the victory. So, that is just a once of a lifetime. 15 minutes of, 15 months, 15 minutes of fame for Ezekiel before, like I said, going to get ruined. So moving on to really the, the yeah the high profile matches so so I don't know which one's gonna main event the um the show I'm not too sure so yeah, the next match or the only the or really the second championship match of this prediction video I already put it the theory um alley match for the United States title this is a triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship Bianca Belair defending the title against Becky Lynch and Asuka. Um, I'm going to go Bianca winning and retaining the belt because she just won the belt at WrestleMania 38 Night 2. I think it's Night 1 or Night 2. Yeah, it was Night 2. You know, that I think that was a show stealer. Um, Asuka, wow. I think at this moment in time, I like Asuka, man. I think Asuka is more like a, a one-dimensional character. You know, she's the Japanese woman with multiple color hair, wearing the mask. Spitting green mist and speaking in Japanese. She needs to be repackaged, man. She needs like a new character, man. She's get she's got very stale. She's a good, you know. Yeah, you say she's an established star, but um, she's getting stale. You know, look at look at Becky Lynch. You know, that you know she she was the last kicker. You know the you know the punk rocker to the ma the man and anyway um you know bit Bella's you know. You can tell, like, she's an established star at this moment in time, you know. I can see her holding the belt much longer because Sasha is not coming back. I, I don't know if she is going to get fired or some, some shit. Charlotte's taking time off and she, there's rumors like she's got married to Andrade. In storyline, she's suffered, like, a an arm injury in the hands of Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania Backlash. Um, I don't know. They, they need more flesh, uh, f uh, really flesh blood for Bianca. I don't know, Bailey. You know, then you know she. Feud, yeah, they feud feud last year, but 
I don't know, a renewed rivalry? I don't know, they need some new, f new flesh blood, man. You know, look, the women, the women's division in both Raw and SmackDown, because too soon to have Alexa Bliss, too soon. Yeah, they need more challenges, man, for Bianca, man. This is like, um, I don't see doing Bianca Becky again. We've already seen it. Maybe turning Oscar heel. You know, I think Oscar's better off being a heel. You know, I think she might do it. She might do well as a heel. So anyway, um, yeah, I go. Yeah, like I said, I go with Bianca. Um, uh, retaining the title. I don't want to see this blow up. I I can see doing a blow up between Bianca Becky, but that's nah. I think this should be the the blow off. So um, I think we'll get, we'll get to the Hell and Cell match in the end. So the next match to be there is a six-person tag team match. Uh, we got um, AJ, Sta AJ Styles, Finn Balor, and Liv Morgan taking on the members of the Judgment Day. That is Edge, Damian Priest, and Rhea Ripley. I'm gonna go with the Judgment Day getting the victory over AJ, Finn, and Liv. You know, I think I like. The, I, I think Edge's new group. I like, you know, some people say they're kind of ripping off the House of Black gimmick in AEW. That's Alistair Black's group, or Micaiah Black's group, with um, Buddy Matthews and Brody King. I get it, um, but I still like the group. I think Edge is going to get one more run as the champion. Um, I don't know, because they unify fucking both the belts, you know. We're going to do Roman and Edge again, heel versus heel. I don't know, man. It's just like... Um, I can see Edge getting one more run, you know, like, uh, you know, it, it, it'll be his last, you know, he's haven't got long left as a pro wrestler, he's in his, um, I think he's almost in his, like, late 40s, man, you know, um, he's doing well, you know, he's doing well, this Hill stuff, you know, this has got to be the blow off between him and AJ Styles, you know, you've got, they got to move on, I, if they, I think this is going to be the third defeat in the role, if AJ won, what's that, you know, I feel like if AJ won this match, win this match, um, it felt like AJ, like, won the battle but lost the war. Because he lost the war, lost the war already. Like, he lost two straight PvP matches against Edge. So, it's really pointless at this moment in time. So, yeah, I go with the Judgment Day getting the victory. You know, make them as legit. Establish them. Yeah, they won. They did that match on Raw, you know, a week ago, two weeks ago. Why are they doing a rematch? Beats me. You know, this is why I just... They need to save their pay save the pay per view matches on a pay per view that people are w worth a damn. Instead of throwing free pay per view matches, throwing a pay per view match on my TV, you know, a when a when AEW is doing it, you know, they kind of freshen up the matches. They they just like throwing throwing pay per view matches on free TV like sweets. Anyway, so moving on to the. Yep, yeah, moving on to the final match of this prediction video. This is a Hell in a Cell match. Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rickin Rollins. Pointless again. Pointless. Cody won the first match. He won the second match. Why are they doing another match? Beats me. Like, I'm not going to go with a whole Cody. You know, Cody's a hypocrite. I know. But, like, I feel if I get to see Seth winning, winning this match, you know. This is the same situation as the last match. You know, if Seth won this match, you feel like he... Won the battle, but lost the war. He lost the war already. He lost. You know, he lost to Cody twice. So, it's really, what's the point? It's simply, what's the fucking point? I'm not being, I'm sorry, excuse my French. It's just what it is. You know, why, it's, it's just basically a third match, taking of a third match. So, I can see Cody getting the victory. I, I can see they're going to have Cody be the one to beat Roman for the championship at SummerSlam. If they... I know it's a unification, the titles, you know, you know, like, like, all the gold or the same situa situation as for Becky Lynch, you know, defending two title matches in one show, like, in, in 2019, so it's kind of like one or the other, so, so I go with properly, you know, I'd rather go Cody again the victory, you, you need to build Cody up for Roman, but like I say, if Ron's wins, pointless, what's the point? Should have him won the match at WrestleMania Backlash. Then you probably say, let's do the, th the rubber, rubber match at Hell in the Cell. So, and Cody is the poster boy of this show. I hope this Hell in the Cell uh, pay-per-view or live premium event. But I hope this this is the last Hell in the Cell pay-per-view in WWE history. 
Because, yeah, these stop doing these um, um, gimmick themed pay per views. They kind of water down the stipulations like Elimina Elimination Chamber and Hell in the Cell and TLC, Money in the Bank, you know. Just go back to doing, the, uh, you know, um, uh, Judgment Day, Bad Blood, uh, Unforgiven, Ar uh, Ar uh, Armageddon. I don't mind bringing that Cyber Sunday. That's an okay paper concept. You know, I don't know about it. It's just like, um, I don't, that's another topic for another time. So anyway, so hope you enjoyed my predictions for WWE Hell in a Cell 2022. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash like button, click the like, click, click the bell, click subscribe to the channel. Be part of the Central Unit for more wrestling videos and more. And this is the Central Man officially signing out. Check you later, folks.